Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Founders Grid sponsored by Gaper.io. I am Zanara Baskhan, and today we have David Negros, the Senior Director at Wifey and Consulting at a leading IT transformation company. Welcome to the show, David. All right. Thank you for having me, Zoom. The pleasure is all ours. So, David, how about you share a brief background of yourself and your work experience with us? Uh, sure. Yeah. So I've been in the uh, IT space uh, for um, for over twenty years, uh, working uh, you know in the in the U.S. as well as overseas in Asia for a number of years. Uh, so my background is has been uh, around taking technology and uh, and business and combining them together to to create a, a greater understanding of how the how that linkage is is there to drive revenue for the business. Interesting. So what has your experience with remote employment been, uh, both as doing the work remotely yourself and if you have um, been employed remote workers as both or one? Uh, yeah, so um, so I've, I've, I've run some businesses in Asia where we've done some uh, remote work, uh, you know, uh, I've had some entrepreneurial businesses where I've hired people in Vietnam and the Philippines, uh, and they've been remote. I, I think it's been a, a very good experience. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it just it just depends on the aptitude of the individual to be able to keep on top of it and stay motivated. I think that's the that's the challenge is without kind of having that daily face to face interaction. Uh, you need to find those people are self-motivated to, to be able to get the work done. Uh, I myself, uh, you know, obviously living within, you know, in these times with COVID, I've, I've done a number, you know, uh, of years now or, or a year of remote work now and previously uh, had, you know, been, been remote as well uh, at different times. So it's... Um, I think I think again it's it depends on the type of individual, but I think it can be very uh, I think it's you know can be very rewarding to have that uh, ability to work remotely, uh, to have your own cadence, kind of take your take your breaks when you need to, um, and you know and be able to stay motivated. I think that's the that's the I think that's the challenge is without that that live interaction, you, you need to find ways to connect with your colleagues, connect with, with, uh, you know, with your clients. A lot of that is, is utilizing video. I think that's been, you know, really important. I've, I've had employees uh, where, you know, when I was in Asia that were in, in Australia and in India, you know, uh, where I was based out of Singapore, that was fine uh, in Japan uh, in China. So, uh, so, yeah, there's always been some level of remoteness uh, for, for the work that I've, I've done. Um, and really, I've utilized video during that entire process, whether, you know, whether it be managing people, you know, in the East Coast of the United States, down in Florida, or Georgia, or Boston, uh, and I'm, I'm out of New York. Uh, I think this has been, you know, a way I've, I've done things for a very long time. Uh, and, and it works. I think it's, and it's good for people to have that flexibility, the ability to, uh, you know, to, to go show up and have that, you know, have that experience with working, getting, getting things done, but at the same time, not having to have that hassle of a commute uh, to, to go back home. I think that's, that's beneficial to a lot of people. Interesting. So, what has your takeaway been from such an experience, like remote work? Um, yeah, the, the the flexibility of it, uh, the ability to go and um, you know travel to a, you know a different state or a different country, uh, being able to still still do all the work that you need to do, regardless of location. I think that's that's really been. An amazing experience to, to have that. Uh, the also the ability to kind of disconnect afterwards, 
again, not, not kind of not having that commute, not having to, to deal with, uh, you know, that I think is a big factor because a lot of people in the United States and around the world, you know, their commute can be an hour, uh, an hour each way. So that's, that's an additional two hours kind of put back into your day and you can utilize some of that time to, to continue working. And you can also utilize that, that time for personal enjoyment. So that's, uh, that's been, I think, a big time saver for, for a lot of people. David, what do you think about remote employment's future? Like, do you think it's here to stay or do you think in the future it's going to be a mixed hybrid a working system, like two days in the office, three days at home? And if you think like, if it's here to stay, what do you think needs to be done differently to make it even better and effective? I think it's, I think it's here to stay in a, in a probably more in a hybrid capacity. Uh, I think there's definitely a desire, uh, particularly, you know, uh, when people are, are kind of forced to stay at home and, and not go to the office uh, to, to basically be able to have that break from home because sometimes you have uh, an environment, you know, let's say you're in New York or, or Tokyo where you have very small apartments. Uh, there's probably a more of a desire to, to go back into the office where there's a bit more space or quiet uh, and there's probably an appeal to that. Uh, but at the same time, the, the uh, you know, I don't think that businesses will want to, they know that it works to, to a great, uh, great degree now, that people are productive, if not more productive in many roles by working at it remotely. Uh, and, you know, the need to have all of that real estate out there to house all the employees is extremely costly. So I believe that there will be a, a hybrid approach there will be a lot of hot desking, uh, more of a, uh, an innovation area where people can come together to collaborate uh, and, and have those meetings and have that spark of creativity. But then afterwards, you know, they'll, they'll be able to, to work remotely independently uh, to get those different, different work streams done and then come back together in that, in that innovative, again, that, that uh, way where there, you know, there's a lot of interaction but it'll be in those short bursts where that interaction will take place. Uh, and then after that, there'll be uh, work remotely. David, uh, what about your company? Like, um, was, how did the idea for Mood work uh, come in here and to your company? Was, it, was your company forced to go online because of COVID or was it online before the pandemic started? Uh, yeah, so there was a, a certain amount of workers that, that were remote to begin with, uh, like, like myself. Uh, and then there, you know, during the uh, pandemic, uh, many, many of my colleagues that, that were going into the office, uh, you know, were then deemed uh, work, work from home. So that, uh, you know, that was, uh, you know, that, that impacted them uh, more, than, more than myself. Uh, so yeah, it, you know, and now that that's happened, there's, there's a greater realization that, you know, a lot of people are very productive, uh, or just as productive, if not more, uh, at home than they are in the office. So it's, uh, it will be interesting to see what the, what the leadership does in the future, uh, with, you know, with the after, after COVID is over, which everyone is. Is eagerly awaiting when uh, when that can when that can happen. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Okay, so since like so many companies have been forced to go remote, even like educational institutions, right? In a situation such as this, what are the major roadblocks and challenges? Like, what do you think um, the hurdles they have faced or you guys have faced? Yeah, I think I think the biggest the biggest issue is with uh, with schools and young children having to be uh, schooled at home um, and, the, and the lack of childcare. 
and, and, and being able to, to deal with that. I think that's displaced a lot of women in the workplace, uh, which is, is which is an unfortunate result of this because uh, you know it, it's it's I think that's been a, a very taxing time for many many families. Uh, the ability to to have to to be able to care care for the young ones while you're working, you know something has got to give. Uh, so that's that's been a uh, a big impact. I think that. Uh, you know, hopefully that mends itself and uh, it doesn't create a, a permanent disruption uh, to, to, to women or men in the workplace because, you know, there's also male care, caregivers as well that would be impacted. So, so I think there, uh, you know, that is a consequence of the pandemic, right? That there, is, uh, there has been a, a bigger uh, outsized impact on families where, where there's young children involved, uh, having to need uh, homeschooling or extra support on homework and uh, you know, extra, extra care to, to enable them to, to learn at home. Um, and and some, some families you know, the, lack the means to, uh, to, uh, you know, to, to deal with certain things. So I think it's, it's been a, a disastrous financial impact on many many families around the world true i agree with that like having the young ones like i think um uh, it's especially hard for the parents because young children can be a handful especially when you have to work and take care of them all together can be very difficult okay david moving towards your last question so there are companies like gaper that help develop build and scale products especially for startups how important do you think such setups are in the startup world and for founders looking to quickly hire smart? Uh, repeat the question again, sorry. Okay. So there are companies like Gaper that help develop, build and scale products, especially for startups. How important do you think such setups are in the startup world and for founders looking to quickly hire smart? Uh, yeah, so I think um, I, th I think the ability to uh, identify talent and uh, and scale uh, scale that talent is is critical. Um, you know, uh, you know, regardless of whether there's a, a pandemic or or work from home, uh, you know, I think that's that's you know having a talent pipeline is is critical regardless. Interesting. Uh, David, uh, that was unfortunately our last question, and I um, I'm sorry that we have to end this. Actually, uh, in the pre-pandemic era, we had longer episodes, but our marketing team suggests that we keep it short since everyone has been producing so much content since the pandemic started, and since people have like shorter attention spans, it's better to have shorter episodes. It was right, well, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you, David. Thank you for coming to our podcast. All right. My pleasure. Take care. Have a great week, David. Thanks. You too.